डियर पार्टिसिपेंट वेलकम टू पावर बी आई थर्ड डेटा विजुअलाइजेशन सेशन इन दिस सेशन वी विल लर्न हाउ टू डेवलप द फॉर्मूलाज एंड डू द कैलकुलेशन इन द पावर बी आई इन फर्स्ट टू सेशन ऑफ द पावर बी आई वी हैव डिस्कस हाउ टू आइडेंटिफाई द की वेरिएबल इन विच यू हैव अ इंटरेस्ट एंड देन मेक द ग्राफ रिलेटेड टू इट राइट नाउ इफ यू हैव द इंफॉर्मेशन बट you have to make some calculations in the power bi how to do those calculations that we will understand in this session so to understand this calculation part we will discuss the attrition analysis right how many people have left the organization and how many people are still working with the organization after one year of their joining so as you already know we are discussing this recruitment data so in this data we have uh, created dummy uh, data for the attrition also so after one year how many people are still there and how many people have left the organization so that is what uh, we will learn in this session so let us start the practical on power bi software so dear participant this is the excel sheet that we were discussing in last two sessions also so in this session also we will discuss the same right so here that attrition one column that i have created yes so once i clicked on this so two options are coming yes or no so yes indicates that employee have left the organization no indicates that employee is still working with the organization so by clicking on this simply we can count how many people are working and how many people have left the organization right so if i say yes it means employee have left the organization so now we can see how many people 168 person have left the organization right out of right 516 right that was the number so if i will put no also so then you can count it how much it is so it comes if i will increase to it no 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 one second so just let me recount it so if i will go so this number is 516 so out of 516 168 people have left so this is the data that we got through the excel now let us do the same exercise in the power bi so how we will do this in the power bi so let me open so desktop power bi that is what i am opening so from the excel we have counted how many people so total number of persons are there 156 and 168 people have left so this analysis that we have to do in the power bi so first thing that you already know this is the screen we will click on this get data click on excel because we have excel data so i have clicked on this new power bi file so now it is loading so here you can see that seat 1 has come i have selected and clicked on load so it is loaded also so now it is coming apply changes so once it is loaded i will click on this apply so now you can see the seat 1 uh, is visible here i will click on this expand all so then all variables will be applicable uh, will be visible to here so now first thing that we will do first we will count it how many employees are there so this thing that i had already done in the first session but again we will do it so head count right so how many employees are there so we will write we will click on new majors head count equal to distinct count right i hope you remember so distinct count we had taken the serial number so we selected it distinct count seat 1 serial number right and close the bracket just click on this just after closing the bracket press the enter so you will get this head count right so head count that is what we got it so now we can use this card right and put it into the head count so total number of the employee have joined the organization that is the 516 
now we want to know how many people have left the organization, right? So, again we will click on new majors, right? This formula is little bit complex. So, please pay attention here. So, major is coming. So, at the type of major, we will write exit, right? So, exit. So, how many people have left? So, we will have written exit, right? And then equal to, then calculate, right? Calculate and after, so we have already created the head count. So, calculate head count, right? Now, that attrition seat is there. From that seat, we want to know how many people have left. So, I have just pressed this comma just to separate it, then attrition, right? Seat attrition equal to inverted comma, yes, right? Yes, inverted comma close, close the bracket, right? So, this is the formula that we have created. So, what we have done in order to calculate the exits? So, we have selected the calculate head count comma attrition equal to yes. Yes indicate that people have left the organization, right? Now, we will press the enter. So, now you can see this exit has come, exit has come in the data. So, now exit is come. So, now we want to know how many people have left. So, just we will create this card, card has come and now exits that we can put into it, right? So, 168 people have left the organization, right? So, if we want to know how, what is the percentage of the people that have left the organization, right? What is the percentage of the people that have left the organization? That is what we want to know. So, again, we will go to the new majors, right? New major. So, attrition percent, right? Equal to exits divided by head count, the way we do in a Excel, slash head count, close the bracket, right? So, exit will be divided by head count. If you want it percentage, so you multiply here only, multiply by 100, just press the enter and now you can get the percentage. So, what is the percentage? 32.56 percentage is there, right? So, now you have calculated the head count percentage. Now, you want to do the analysis by source of inter application, right? So, for that what you can do? How many people have left? So, source of application. So, this uh, chart that you will do it. So, exits will come in Y and source of application will come into the X. Now, you will get at the number and go to this visualization below format visuals and just on the data. Now, you can see maximum people who have left the organization, they were, they were coming through the indeed, right? And minimum people have left uh, 15 that they were coming through the knockery.com. So, now you can understand this thing, right? What is the source of application and how many people have left it, right? So, one column that you have already done it, right? So, now let me op take this next seat. So, by source of application, that is what we have understood, how many people have left and percentage that is there, how many people have left the organization and how many are there, both information is there and source uh, source of application is there. Let us assume now we want to know what is the status as per the gender, right? So, gender, so exits that I have put, I have selected the graph and then I have select uh, taken this exits and put it into the Y and gender wise. So, gender wise, yes. So, now you can see this data is there. 
gender wise so almost in both genders same number of people have left so just let me right data levels so now you can see 85 females have left and 83 males have left the organization right same thing that you can do with department wise also city wise also education wise also so let me make let me make these graphs quickly right so i hope you would have understood how to calculate the attrition now i am doing this analysis department wise city wise education wise right so if i want to understand city wise right so i have selected the graph again one second let me click here city wise so exits in y right city in x so now this is the data from the city wise right let me visualize put the numbers also so data levels are there right so maximum people have left from the chennai minimum have left from the bangalore so next time if you are making the recruitment plan then you can think about this chennai fit issues are there what is the region why they are leaving you can think about it and then you can do the analysis related to it same thing that you can do for department wise right so let me select another graph and department wise so exits that i have put into the y and departments that i have put into the x so you can see maximum people have left from the operations here right so you can increase the size of this graph so that it will be visible right so maximum people have left they are from the operations right in department if i want to know from which city people have left the maximum so marketing so now you can see marketing male have left more let me check for finance male have left more in operations you can see female have left more so this is a interactive in nature so once you have created this graph then ask the questions to yourself and get the answer from here right so that is what you can see so let me create one more graph which is left gender i have created education wise right education wise is remaining so let me give a number to it right quickly and then I will move to the data levels on. So, data levels are on. So, now you can see this exits, right. Now, let me make it uh, education wise. So, let me select another graph, right. So, education wise. So, I will put education into the x and exits into the y right and let me give the level also yes levels are on so now you can see maximum people have left you can say almost pg and ug have left the uh, who have left the organizations pg and ug they are the same and minimum psd so now you can say if you have to hire if you want to reduce the attrition rate then you can hire more psds you know so that is how you can analyze the data right now you can have the story so entire story that you can say like 516 people have joined the organization 168 people have left the organization within a year right attrition rate is 32.56 right and various source so in a source of application highest attrition is there in the indeed and newspaper uh, followed by newspaper right and then you can say uh, exit by the genders so by gender that you can see almost same number of uh, similar number of people have left the organization by city you can see uh, chennai is having the highest exit by departments that you can say so operations uh, people are having the highest and then exit by education that is what you can see now in a if you want to know in a exit female candidate right so here you can see in pg maximum number of female have left the organization 
right in PSD you can see male are the maximum right. So, that is how you can select and then you can get the answer of other questions also which are coming in your mind. So, once you will see the graph of these all all graphs then some other questions may come in in your mind. So, what you can do just you click on one of the parameter if you are interested city wise analysis just check city wise if you are an interested in a department wise just click on department if you are interested by education wise particular education impact that you want to see is there any relation that you want to understand. So, you can check right if you want to see the gender wise so you can click on gender. So, these are the questions as a manager after making this graphs that you need to make and then you need to understand the pattern right. So, I hope you would have understood this uh, attrition analysis. Dear participants in third session we have calculated the exits right. So, in excel I had explained this option is there yes or no then how you can count uh, make a head count then you can calculate this attrition rate this exits and you can calculate the percentage and after that you can understand this analysis you can do the analysis in depth analysis department wise experience wise right and then you can make certain type of graphs and you can interact with these graphs you can ask these questions. So, what is my suggestion as in this power bi in an excel also you will see some of the calculations and some of the graphs. So, what is my suggestion is here once you have this data with you any data whether it is related to recruitment, whether it is related to performance, whether it is related to training and development right. So, have a understanding of that data. So, how you will have this understanding? So, what type of questions that are being asked at your workplace right and then see whether you have collected the data related to those questions or not right and then develop your matrix. How to develop the matrix? Very some of the important matrix related to the each functions that you will see from the next week onwards. My request to the all participants, please create the dummy data uh, related to these all uh, functions and do a practice on Power BI and Excel. And in the last week of this program, you will have a session on Tableau right and then you can do a practice on Tableau. So, now from second week onwards I would request all participants to download the Power BI and use pivot table as much as you can. So, I hope you would have learned how to use this uh, Power BI in order to do the analysis. Thank you.